Welcome back. It was 50 years ago today the Beatles arrived in the United States for their historic tour. And if you're a fan of the Fab Four, we have a concert event just for you. Billy, Ryan, and Matthew McGuigan are here to tell us about their show yesterday and today, the interactive experience. Thank you all for being here. So good. You guys sat in order. Well we played. did. Sat really in good order. job. <laughs> Billy, let's, let's start uh, with, give, give us an idea of the inspiration for your love of the Beatles as younger guys. It was uh, your late father who really got you into it. Yeah, our dad who passed away in 1996 when we came in when he was only 42, loved the Beatles. And that's what people talked about when he was in the hospital when he was sick. They would send him Beatles books, and, and it was sort of always the thing that was around. And our dad always taught us that the Beatles were our long lost uncles who never sent money. That's right. So, <laughs> still haven't. They yeah, they still they haven't. They're still, still waiting for that. Yeah. So, you guys know the entire library. You play the library, but uh, I think what's unique is you know, you're not trying to imitate the guys, you're no. just no. trying to play the music. So, there's no wigs, no silly accents, stuff like that. Tell us about that a little bit. Well, they're like our idols anyway. So, right. I mean, we kind of act like them normally. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we don't, we don't talk like we have those cheeky right. accents. <laughs> Nobody pulls it off, do they? No, no, no. I don't think so. no. And that might be a wig. I'm not sure what he's got happening there these days. <laughs> he's got no. sideburn wigs. And we, we've taken it one step further because we feel that the Beatles' music truly is the soundtrack to our lives. In this show, the audience can make requests. Their requests make up our entire set list, and the stories they tell about the requests is what makes up our narrative for the evening. So people's stories that we tell help us connect with the audience, uh, unlike any other show. Hey, look at that's us a few haircuts hey, ago. Hey, look, I'm sitting too exactly bad. the same way. <laughs> <laughs> so now what they they just write down their requests and then share a little bit of like why this song was important to them? Yeah, we pretty much when they hand it in, we want to paint the picture that they're asking for. So say if they got married to in my life, we're trying to recreate that sure. moment for them and we have to do the best job on our behalf to make it sound like the Beatles without being them and trying to act like them at the same time. And it puts a little more pressure on us because we say, we strive to make, all the time. right yeah. and we and we strive to make the song like they remembered it as opposed to hey, watch me. Oh, you know, <laughs> I'm really, look at this Ringo right here. It's great, you know. So that that that's really key to us. That we we capture. It's it's more of a Beatles show for Beatles fans right. as opposed to, uh, you know, people again. that want to see a Beatles performance when they can go see Paul McCartney or right. Ringo right. since yeah. they're still right. alive. Well, We're, thanks so much for bringing the show to Milwaukee, guys. Oh, it's our uh, pleasure. It. It'll be so a great audience for you. And for more information on it, you can go to yesterday and today. Just head to the link section of todaystmj4.com. We've got a link set up for you right there.